Hello friends, it's Miss Jessica. Today I'm gonna to read you another story and we are gonna read A Rock Can Be. Now this is the front of the book, this is the back of the book, and this is the spine of the book. The author writes the words and the illustrator draws the pictures. All right, let's get started. A Rock Can Be. A rock is a rock. It's sand, pebble, and stone. Each rock tells a story, a tale all its own. A rock can be a tall mountain or a park fountain. A dinosaur bone or a setting stone. A volcano flower or a night glower. A lake skimmer or a building trimmer. A hopscotch marker or a fire sparker. A rock is a rock. Our earth is in your hand. Our world's full of rocks, some simple, some grand. A rock can be a seaside home or a crusty dome. This is the middle of the earth. A desert dune or a harvest moon. The moon is a very big rock. A food grinder or a pathfinder. A harbor protector or a land connector. Do you see the bridges? Those are made out of rocks. A sparkling ring or an eagle wing. A big rock on her finger. A book proper or a sheep stopper. See, the fence is made out of rocks. A rock is a rock, part of cliff, road, and sea. Now go and discover what else it can be. See, these rocks are made to, for art, for the moon and the clouds and the sun and the butterflies and the flowers, the water and the fish. Those are all made out of rocks. Rocks are all around us. You probably see rocks lying on the ground every single day, but they don't just lie around. Rocks have a lot of important jobs to do. We use rocks for their beauty and their hardness. And sometimes we just like to have fun with them. How do you use rocks? All right, friends, thanks for listening. See you next time.